guess where I am and guess who I am. I'm at NC Comic Con here in Durham, North Carolina, and of course I'm Sabrina the Teenage Witch. my very first Comic Con here in North Carolina and I'm super excited to be here. I got here as press, so I got this nice little media badge. There's multiple movies, there are panels, artists and merch, so you can go crazy on all of the fangirling and fanboying and like whatever rocks your boat. There's cosplay competitions, there's a lot of cosplayers around. I did an interview with a couple of them, so check those out. smaller than New York Comic Con obviously but it also means it's much more intimate you can really talk to the artists and there's some famous artists who did some really really big comics such as and a really cool freebie here at NC Comic Con is that you can go around collect trading cards and what's more you can get your favorite artists to sign them so you have extra special collectibles and this is how it works so what do you do with these trading cards? So these trading cards are specifically for this event, which is the North Carolina Comic Con, known as Bull City. Uh, they give out it for artists and vendors, specific little trading cards for each booth, so you can collect them all. And this is ours. Yeah, I'm Mitch Garrett. Uh, I work for DC Comics. I did uh, Mr. Miracle and in 2020, I'm doing Strange Adventures. How do you find inspiration to draw? Like, do you have icons you follow, or do you just... Um, yeah, I mean, I have all the artists, my contemporary artists that I love, and turn-of-the-century artists like Norman Rockwell and Fawcett and all those guys. The, the generic artist answer of just life around you inspires you. What so, do you like most about this comic uh, It sort of reminds me of shows I went to as a kid, both much better guests. <laughs> no, I love that it's a small show, but, like, it's it's brand so very well and I do enough shows throughout the year to know that's not always true tips for art if you're something you want to get into get really good at backgrounds because everybody can draw spider-man swinging around but so many people have a trouble with putting him in a space so backgrounds My name is Gary Faith. This is Dungeon Wears All My Crazy Artwork. Miss, you look like a Space Kittens kind of girl. You know why? Because the cuteness was on porpoise. By the way, sometimes people don't know that, but that's all right. How about a cactus? It's a bit prickly, but I think you'd look sharp in it. Because it is pointy. Plus, the chlorophyll brings out your eyes and that kind of thing. Um, what about maybe a barbarian? A flying squirrel? That one's plain nuts. A sexy pizza? It's a bit cheesy, but she's a saucy lady, you know? And she's really creating a love triangle between me and my wife, it's my side slice. But what about a husky Bob Ross? He's not even that overweight. He's just a little husky. It's a bit rough around the edges, but that's a palette knife thing. A little, little bit of my crazy artwork. I have stickers and greeting cards and all kinds of fun stuff. Just kind of sort of whatever I want to see, I paint. How do you feel about dad puns? Dad puns? Oh, come on. Dad jokes are the best kind of jokes. It's a privilege, but you gotta sign the contract though. It's not just about like creating the spawn offspring. It's the contract too, it's thick. Did you read the fine print? No, but I, I'm risky like that. Comic Con here in Durham isn't that big. There are two main halls, one for the artists and one for merch, and then there are smaller rooms where there's panels going on. If you want to hear experts talk about certain topics and do the Q&As, which is really interesting because it's so small and intimate, so you really can get your questions answered if you have any pressing ones. Get them in advance so you don't forget them and get all nervous and like shaky, whatever. But when you get tired, and you might, because there's so much to take in, you can just sit in the corridor and it's fun because you can do people watching. There's so many cosplayers walking by, people in interesting costumes, and it's just as fun to watch people be awesome than to just like look at all the displays. I'll try them. No, I won't. I'm I'm Linda Belcher, and this is my beautiful, fabulous husband, Bobby. <laughs> yeah, I'm Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> Bob's for, for Bob's. For Bob's. Yeah, yeah, you get it. <laughs> Fun that yeah, we watch we, together a lot, constantly, so that's yeah. why we went with it. Hmm. It's actually the first time we've ever really um, dressed up together. 
and so we thought it would be something that we're not experts at sewing. We can't do like the crafting with foam or anything like that. It was, so. it was convenient. Yeah, yeah, and we were like, oh, it's easy, and it's something we both really care about, and we both wash together all the time. So we thought we would be Linda and Bob. Yes. Yeah. Is yeah. this your first Comic Con? No. Not our first one. We actually went last year, but we didn't dress up, so. Is it a different experience to be dressed up? Or to be yes, it's yes, way more way fun. Way different, way different, way funner. I'm like always going to dress up now. People like want to talk to you, and we're both pretty shy, actually. Yeah, so we come <laughs> so, here and like, everyone's talking to us, and we're like, wow, this feels great. Yeah, it's really nice, actually. So I think we'll dress up for all of them, actually. Yeah, I mean, why not? Yeah. I'm Victoria, this is Blez. It's one of the Red Lanterns from the Green Lantern Corps. I'm having a lantern weekend, so um, I thought it would just be appropriate to like do one of the Red Lanterns as well. Yellow Lantern was my first costume, so we're in Ignatu. Um, it was the first comic book series that I ever read, so it's just, it's been with me like my whole life. I've been going to con since 2009, so your anniversary. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> my name is Megan. Uh, my costume is Erza Scarlet from Fairy Tech. It's her Heaven's Will armor. It took about a, a year. So I learned sewing from YouTube and then uh, crafting, foam crafting from him and just a lot of luck. <laughs> the wings were a lot of work because they're identical on both sides so I had to cut out a lot of feathers. <laughs> I got all the foam from TNT Cosplay and the fabric from Walmart and Joann's. So this is a Destiny Guardian from the first game, not the second, but you know, it's Iron Banner and the character's name is Havoc. So I've been working on this for about a year and I'm still working on it, still would like to do some shading and weathering for it um, and puff paint my suit to give it a little bit more texture. And I actually have to make two different guns so that way, you know, I can magnetize them and stick it to my back and, you know, have it actually look more like the game. You get to meet new people, like you still get to see old friends, like, because you make friends, but then like you meet so many new people to learn new techniques from and you just talk to each other and figure out like how everybody did their thing. And, you know, once you like just start forming your clique essentially, uh, it's, it's not really a click, but it is. Uh, everybody's just like really open to help. And do you change costumes for each and every day? Usually. Yeah. I was um, Professor Charles Xavier yesterday, so yeah. I was Harley Quinn yesterday. This is my big one, though. Yeah. How long did it take to get into costume? This takes me 30 minutes to get into, and it took us like over 70 hours to make. It took me about 10 minutes to get in this one. <laughs> what was your most elaborate costume so far? This one. Elaborate? Probably my old Greg one. I had to look for a light that stick to fabric for um, my man Jonah. Uh, <laughs> and it was really awesome, so yeah. Just get into it. Yeah. Cosplay what you like. Be excited about it. Doesn't matter your skill level. Just show up. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Don't be scared or down on yourself um, if you are not um, happy with the product because a lot of people will be happy with it and it will really boost your self-esteem. Just be yourself. The cosplay community is fantastic and very open about helping with techniques and body positivity and any if you ask anyone advice they will give it to you so i love the cosplay community youtube is your best friend you're gonna fail way more than you succeed but when you succeed it's definitely a win and like celebrate those victories how big or how small do if it. you're afraid to do it don't be <laughs> it's actually it's really empowering yeah I agree. Yeah, it's really yeah. fun. It's a lot of just fun. Just do it. Just do it. If you don't make your costume, it's okay to buy one. It's okay. Like, don't stress yourself out. Like, everybody's gonna love your costume regardless of whether you buy it or not. Just have fun. It's all about having fun, going around, seeing cool stuff. It's not like how it used to be with dorky guys trading baseball cards. It's all kinds of fun things. It's artwork and cool stuff. Take your time. You're probably not gonna see everything, but just have fun. And there's a pretty cool dog dressed up because it is a veteran sidekick dog and you can support their organization helping veterans get like on their feet and cuddle with the cutest pets. You can get a potograph as well. 
And of course, there's merch, lots of merch. Check it out. Comic Con here in Durham, North Carolina. I hope you liked it. I hope you got some yeah. tips. I hope you liked the <laughs> interviews I did with artists and cosplayers. Like, I really had fun. At first, I thought it was a bit boring because the first day nothing much was happening, but then the third day definitely proved me wrong. This is very fun and very small scale, but also more intimate and therefore more interactive experience if you're into comics, if you're into a TV series or games. Check it out. If you're in North Carolina, go here. And don't forget to like, follow, subscribe and check out new adventures. I'm trying to upload them every week. Stay travel-tastic and bye!